Okay guys, now that we're back, what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and look at a few of our settings here. If you look at our switches, I'm going to go ahead and make Betaflight the bigger option here. You can see now where, when I flip this switch here, that's our arm switch. And when I flip this switch here, that's our mode switch, okay? But you see this thing right here, this is auxiliary four, right? This is actually our RSSI or our signal switch from the drone to our radio. That's why it's bouncing. It's basically telling us um, uh, our radio signal and how far we are and how close we are, okay? That's our telemetry that we're working with, all right? But to make this work, we've got to go ahead and set that up. So here's what I want you to do. You see your RSSI channel here? I want you to go ahead and I want you to drop this down and I want you to look at, you have auxiliary one through 14. One through four, okay, is uh, the channels here are for your radio. So auxiliary four here is the one that's moving and we're gonna click save, all right? And now when we go to our setup on our RSSI, what we're gonna see is if you look in this screen right here, okay, you see how this RSSI says 100? As I move my radio away, my signal starts decreasing, right? And this is important. This is telling Betaflight how close we are, okay? So what you wanna do again is under your receiver, just make sure that you have RSSI channel to auxiliary four and then click save, okay? Now, with that done, we're ready to go and check our modes out. So let's go to our mode, all right? So we have our stick set for arm and disarm. So what I'm gonna tell you to do is, I want you to go ahead and I want you to click the X right here, okay? And remove that. And then I want you to click add range. And then I want you to flip your left switch, okay? And it's gonna fill it with auxiliary one. I want you to take this portion of the line and drag it all the way to the end and click save. What that's doing is it's telling the drone that if your switch is middle or bottom, the drone needs to be armed. The reason we do that is because we don't want to accidentally hit the switch and disarm it. So we want both ranges, middle and bottom, uh, bottom being closest to you, to be armed. Let's turn that back off. Now, they have given you some modes here to fly with, okay? So on your auxiliary too, if you notice, when we flip this switch, okay, we're going to have angle and we're going to horizon. Now, let's see what else that they have put in here for us. Uh, that's pretty much it. That's all that they've given us, okay? So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to leave auxiliary two in the up position. You will be in angle mode. What angle mode means is that when you're flying, if you go hard left, hard right, forward, you won't be able to flip. It'll still keep you level, but your drone won't do any flips. Okay. Middle position. They've got you set for horizon mode. Horizon mode is like angle mode. It keeps you level, but if you go hard left or hard right you're gonna be able to do your flips, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna drag horizon mode all the way um, to the end, okay? That's gonna be a good training for you. And we're gonna take anti-gravity and we're gonna drag it all the way to where it covers, uh, let's just say right at about between 1600 and 1700, okay? And we're gonna drop this down to auxiliary two. So here's how I want you to make it look. Angle would stay exactly the same. Horizon, drag it all the way to the end. And then anti-gravity, drag it to about the 1700 mark and make sure it says auxiliary two. When you do all that, click save, okay? Now here's how you can tell what's going on. All the way down, you're in horizon mode. You see, it's the yellow box and your button's right here. In the middle, you're in horizon with anti-gravity. Anti-gravity means that when you take off, most of the time the drone will wanna dip a little bit. The anti-gravity feature tells the drone to don't dip too much try to stay as level as it can okay so just basically um, use it for you know like when you when you're first learning and if you really want to hit the throttle really hard your drone may tend to flip into the ground this will try to keep it from doing that but it's not guaranteed you still have to be somewhat involved with it so we and then if we go to the top we have angle with anti-gravity again none of the other switches are set and right now they're not needed to be so we're good to go we can click save okay now, all we wanna do now, and I want you to be very careful with this, okay? Uh, the drone, these propellers are pretty safe, but here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to go to motors, okay? And I want you with, make sure, if you're doing this in a classroom, your, your instructor has to be present when you do this. Do not do this until he's at your desk uh, watching you with your drone, okay? Because here's what you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna flip the switch right here, 
and you're basically going to put your your hand right on the plastic part of this drone. Now, this drone is not very powerful, so don't worry, it's not going to go flying all over the place, but I want you to then flip your arm switch, and you're going to see your motors are already going, okay? Now, nothing's going anywhere yet because there's not enough power being given to it, all right? But as you can see, now this motor is not spinning, but there you go. It's not a big deal because it's not getting very much throttle at all, okay? Now, what we want to do, though, is we want to make sure that the motors spin and that they're all spinning in the right direction. Your professor will be able to help you with that, and you can be able to tell. If you hold your hand over the motors, if there's no air pushing directly into your hand, all your motors are spinning in the right direction, okay? Go ahead, turn it off, and you're pretty much done. At that point, guys, you're ready to fly. So what we're going to do now is we're going to stop this video here, okay? And we're going to come back, and I'm going to show you a little quick test flight on the desk.